That's very good. <clears throat> you played it good. Uh, I think that you hit a little bit too much the minions, like right in here, for example. Oh, the person yeah. did this Q. Because you had a freeze, and right here as well. This Q is kind of... And this E. You see? Like, you're killing the minions. And right now, how is the wave right now? Now it's uh, pushing back into him. You see? So if he was in the same position now, and wave is coming into you, how would that be? How would that make you feel? Would make me feel safe if I was exactly. in his position. Exactly. exactly. Especially exactly. because he has his ranged form, so he could stand a little bit farther back under the tower to make it harder for a dive. So, but I haven't played much. I've only played three games on this. Yes, I saw. I ones. saw. I I also checked your your uh, MMR. So the MMR is gonna stabilize after like minimum, I think minimum fifty games. Minimum fifty games. Uh, so now you'll still fluctuate minus plus minus plus you can't say my account is doomed or not you have to play 50 games basically and have to see because now it's like still you know one game you play in bronze as you can see one game you play in silver three you you never know so, so i still got to uh is that my main account that you want me to play 50 more games on for it to stabilize or no, is no, that no 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 the new account because the 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 your your account unfortunately it's stabilized and it's bad <laughs> it's doomed <laughs> Okay. Yes, so it's not good. Yes, yes, yes. So today... I had a feeling with my main because I, I had a 54% win rate and then all of a sudden I went from uh, like 22 LP a loss uh, I to see. overnight, I see. like three games later it was 28 and it's like, where'd this jump come from? I see, I see. Okay, that sounds good. And for today, what should we do, Nick? Should we do live? Should we do a VOD review? What should we do? Even though I won that last game, I definitely want to uh, VOD review it because I want to see what mistakes you can spot in it because I saw two major points where I was very greedy. Okay. But I am sure there's more mistakes in that one than just the two I saw. Okay, 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 okay. So you said two mistakes? But I personally saw where okay, I played okay. very greedy. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. So only two mistakes in 28 minutes? Wow. Yeah, well, I played really aggressive <laughs> and I thought I could win. Nice, and man, nice. I, I died. And it's like, okay, that was definitely a mistake. I shouldn't have played that greedy. Okay, 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 okay. Good, so let's see. Okay, nice. Wow. So let's see. So maybe... We're definitely gonna find more than two mistakes in a silver women. <laughs> oh, definitely. This one, right? Eleven two. Yes. Okay. It, it it looks good. It looks good. But definitely, maybe more than two mistakes. Let's see. Let's see. So too aggressive, you're saying, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's two points where I definitely played too aggressive. Well, I felt like I was ahead. I hit a tornado on the enemy jungle. I ulted in, and I thought I would win the one v two, and I did not. So that oh, caused me a death. A death, okay. So that was one. I forget where the other one was off the top of my head. I think it might have also been caused due to being too cocky. I see, I see. Perfect. So tell me more about uh, this uh, this game. Like, uh, you're playing against Jace? Yes. What do Which you think against about Jace, I know that he's really... Well, he was considered a uh, counter to Yasuo back when Yasuo built uh, a Conqueror, so I know I have to play it not super safe, but do my best to only take good engages. And if I stack lethal t uh, tempo, I view Jace as more like an assassin, where if he gets his burst damage out, then I should be able with tempo to kind of just keep trading a little bit. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. And what do you think overall about this matchup? Good, bad, doable, no doable? Well, I feel like it's medium. Okay, 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 okay. So it's medium, so I would say it's a skill matchup. Yeah. I see, I see. Personally, I would probably I feel start... like it. Mm -hmm. I feel like it wasn't always a skill matchup, but I feel like in today's uh, meta, it, it has become more of a skill matchup. That sounds good. Personally, I think if it was me... I would probably start Doran's shield against Jace, but honestly, I see this, you're smashing him, and in this Elo, Jace is not really like faker. 
but yeah, definitely if it's a high elo, yeah, so probably he goes uh, he goes shield in this matchup. Again, if you're comfortable with blade, it's not that bad to take it. Um, but I think a good Jace will, will force you to, to have that. Interesting, 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 interesting. So this was one of the good games that he had, right? Yes. He said. Okay, perfect. And what rank was this? This one I'm not sure because it's still one of the uh, free placement games I've done. And the one before this one, I feel like there wasn't much I could do. And the one before that, I feel like there was quite a bit I could have done. Okay, nice. So then we can just review this game. Um, so did you have a plan before you go into the game, this one? My plan this game is my team has a lot of knockups and that I can play off from. So totally. my plan was to really engage off from uh, uh, big knockups. Okay, and in the laning phase, how did you want to trade? Uh, the laning phase, I wanted to be pretty aggressive. <laughs> because I feel like if I was aggressive and I got a lead, which I did in this game, that, that would maximize uh, uh, the effectiveness of if my team went in and got a knockup. So that way I would also be doing maximum amount of damage. Okay. That sounds very good. That's very, That's very good. That's where I was aggressive. Ah, this one is the mistake. Yeah. I, I hit that tornado and I thought I won it and... I definitely did not. And that was the second mistake when you died again? Yes. Okay, good. So let's go and start the, the review. So, uh, in the beginning of the game, they go for the invade right here. It is quite important to follow them because if you stay mid lane and they start fighting, it's gonna be <laughs> CG. Uh, so, there is that. I see you on the ruins right here, you go for health. Is this something that you like to do or...? I went for health in that one because I wasn't... Jace mid, I haven't really seen that. So I didn't know if it was uh, Echo or Mordekaiser. So I kind of went see. for HP because I wasn't... I had oh, a game okay. before that where I thought it was um, a Fizz mid lane and it was actually the other guy and I took the wrong room. Uh, it I was see. actually Darius. So oh, I took shit. HP, so... I, I took HP so that... Uh, I'd kind of be covered no matter who it was. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. Usually HP is kind of bad for Yasuo because you want to fight level 2, level 3 usually. And Jace wants to really fight hard this level. So if you have HP and not armor, it's like... HP is very good after level 4. After level 4, HP is always better. But until 4 is like, you need to play a bit safer. Okay, so we weren't here, that's, uh, we should have been here earlier. Then you go to mid lane. <clears throat> and right here I see you put the word here. What's the reasoning of this? My reasoning for that was just to, uh, I guess it was just to get vision out. True, but can you get ganked now, level 2, by Echo? No, I really can't. Most likely not, yeah. So... This word position is okay, it, it is okay, um, but usually if you want to put this word, you should put, because if you put it right now, this word lasts for 90 seconds. So at exact 3 minutes in the game, this expires. And uh, some jungler gank you very crazy after 235, uh, some other more junglers gank you after 245, but most of the ganks are ab after 3 minutes. So if you put this word, and this word it protects you to 35, protects you to 45, but the 80% of the ganks are at 3 minutes, then it protects you for like 20% uh, of the ganks, basically. Okay. So what the way you want to see it, if you really want to put a word before the lane, you should put it like right now. Like ra right now. You should go right now, because the waves didn't meet. You should go right now. Just drop a word right here so you can see the raptors. Because the reason why this word is better is because no matter what kind of clear he does, bot to top, top to bot, you're gonna see echo here. Because okay. majority of the junglers, if they don't take raptors, they will do this. They will, they will, they will um, pass it. They will, uh, they will go around. But you will see them. 
So if you really want to put the word before the laning phase starts, it's this word and it's again before the minions submit, like right now. But if you want to put the word in the position that you did, you should put the word basically after the second wave. After second or third wave? Second wave, third wave, or worst case scenario, fourth wave. Be the, but why is it so important to not waste the timer right now, the timer of the word? Because when it puts your word on cooldown, which if it wasn't off cooldown, then chances are it could have, um, uh, what's it called? Prevented a gank later on exactly. in the game when it's more important. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so you go, you play pretty slow here, you try to pass here to stay safe, no mistakes so far. Very good. I like this queue as well that you're hitting only one minion and you're not really trying to push the wave. This is very, very nice. Very nice gameplay. Now you stay behind the minions. We can see that Jace just used the queue on the minions, which is a huge mistake. He's on cooldown for 8 seconds, so it relieves a bit of the pressure on the lane. Now you're just staying max range. This is good. This is good. This is good. Yeah, this is I've looked... Trade to really change up how I play uh, the laning phase. I've been uh, freezing and slow pushing a lot more versus where I used to just autopilot. Uh, I see, I see. Push every wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see, I see now, I see. It's much better. And usually when you are this HP, because I see that you use your potion right now, um, I wouldn't really use my potion because you have only one potion on Yasuo and with Dora's Blade. So you really want to make sure you use it well, because if you use it now, uh, did you know that uh, the second wind heals you based on missing health? Um, <clears throat> no, I didn't. I just uh, figured it was a heat. It was a uh, flat amount that procked. Yeah. But so why does it matter to not use the potion early? Because you would benefit more from uh, unflinching early. Uh, and second if you get mean? really low HP, you would benefit more from uh, taking the potion and using the exactly. second wind healing. Exactly. So I would use it when I'm below. It's either when I think that he's going to have uh, kill pressure uh, on me and he can kill me, I will use it instantly. Or simply when I'm below this HP, below, below, like below 30%, I would always use the potion on mid laners with second wind or Doran's shield because Doran's shield works the same this is why you're gonna see Koreans playing against Faker, Akali and they stay this HP, they stay very low HP and they don't use their potions intentionally because they wanna get use of the second wind and Doran's shield uh, combination now I have a question, do you think like obviously this matchup <laughs> I opted for the uh, second wind which I like opting for second wind a lot um but do you ever think it's really worth taking bone plating because occasionally i would take it into fizz because i noticed a lot of value out of it but um some of the other melee matchups like zed or talon i i feel like maybe i'd get value out of it but it's so easy for him to just poke bone plating off me and it goes with my uh, passive shield yes, too. Yes, yes. I think that uh, bone plating has some value, but in most of the cases it's like kind of easy to play around. Maybe if you play against a Renekton, maybe if you play against a Pantheon, you can take it. But in my opinion, I think it's a very, very rune, bad rune. And I'm pretty sure if we check it, pro players right now, we're going to see very rarely someone that takes a uh, bomb plating very rarely. let's see okay i don't like to to usually check japan players uh, okay second wind japan second wind korea second wind okay closer got right here he was against viego so remember renekton viego pantheon stuff that are impossible garen okay that's another story i like bomb plating against this but look he plays against Sante still goes this. Katarina, okay, this guy went for uh, bomb play against uh, Katarina. Personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. This guy, again, second win. This guy, second win. <coughs> this guy, okay, Turkey. Let's not care about Turkey. 
Keria, uh, second wind. Prince, okay, Graga Smith. Again, a pretty. Like, this is not an easy matchup. Like, you can't say Gragas, Viego, Garen, Pantheon, Renekton. Like, I call them impossible matchups. In impossible matchups, I think it's fine to get. Uh, to get bomb plating. But as you can see, it's mostly, mostly second wind, as you can see. Second wind, okay. second wind. So bomb plating is super, super bad. Okay, this guy, again, clad mid. <laughs> like, the, like, matchups that are top, like Darius. Like, top, top lane matchups, let's say. Most of them are most likely just gonna take second win, second win, second win, second win, second win, and very rarely sometimes bomb plating. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, right here you push the wave, <clears throat> which is nice, and then you try, try to recall. So why, why was you, did you recall right here? Let's see. Well, I recalled because I was low HP. I knew he had to push the wave or sack the wave. He had low mana. So, I wanted to go back and get items and full HP and see if I could force them to stay with that mana and that health level. Okay, that sounds good. And you recall right here because when you come back in the laney phase, you're probably gonna keep, you're gonna, you're gonna recall and when you come back in the lane, you're gonna keep him here or you're gonna just uh, deny him from pushing the wave. Be careful. <clears throat> If you would be this HP, what would you do? Or this HP? If he was at the very low bar, I think I could actually dive him with uh, Ignite, okay. but I would want him to get his, uh, um, what is it called, his knockback ability out before I attempted to dive him, okay. because otherwise that could go really bad. What if he's this HP right now? <clears throat> um... I think I could contest minions as he tried to last hit them. Yes, so the worst thing that you can do if he is in kill threat or you know that you can kill him reliably with ignite and he's low and you recall, it's bad. In this case, he's not that low. So, you know, you recall and he came back. But I would be concerned if he's this HP and you recall and you let him live. I would not let him live. He needs to recall, not us. But in this case, you know, he's not that low. Plus, Compared to you, he's definitely not low. So you recall. This is good. But if you was low HP and you recall, that would have been bad. If he's low HP and you have kill pressure on him and you recall, that would have been very bad. Now, what you want to do, wave is coming into you. And he needs to he needs to do what here? Uh, he needs to push for wave to recall. Yes. Yes. So we need to just... Uh, what do we need to do with the wave? Um, let it push into me. Yes, let it push into you and try to keep uh, keep Jace here. Yeah, I tried to take a few small trades on him, and then I saw the jungle come in. That's very good. <clears throat> you played it good. Uh, I think that you hit a little bit too much the minions, like right in here, for example. Or the person with this Q, because you had a freeze, and right here as well, this Q, it's kinda, and this E, you see? Like you're killing the minions, and right now, how is the wave right now? Now it's uh, pushing back into him. You see? So if he was in the same position now, and wave is coming into you, how would that be? How would that make you feel? It would make me feel safe if I was exactly. in his position. Exactly. exactly. Especially exactly. because he has his ranged form, so he could stand a little bit farther back under the tower to make it harder for a dive. Okay, and then here, you're gonna have the wave to come into you again. I'm gonna pressure him. Yep, and here I know he has low mana, so I'm just looking to hit a NATO. Let's see. Ooh, okay. So we definitely... So here he is inting. Like, he is very inting. Like, you can always win the trade. Like, now... I would go in and go for a short trade. Like, I would eat through this minion. Eat this minion. Especially because <laughs> I think that minion is what gives me 6, too. Yeah. Like, you can, you can force trade with him. You don't want to touch the wave too much, only with like two E's, let's say, because the wave is coming into you and that's nice. But you don't want to get him, like, you, you're letting him get away with murder. Okay. <clears throat> like, here, this is good. This is fine. 
And now, all what he wants to do is push to Everico. Don't let him. That, I would go on him. That NATO I, I hit on him a second <clears> ago, do you think I, I greeted my ult and I should have just took that? Mm, I think it's outside the, outside of the tower here. But honestly, like at the moment, the fact that you didn't ulti is not that bad because wave is coming into you and you don't exactly know where is the enemy jungle. So if you you kill him 100%, but then if you have a chance to die, I mean, you're in a okay position. Wave is coming into you. You don't need to do it. Okay. You don't need to do it here. But now, now he's in a very overextended position. All what he wants to do is push the wave and recall. And you should punish him because you see you're playing safe here. Look. You see, now you should have gone on him. Like, why are, we, why are we giving him breathing room? Now you should have just punished him. Let's see. And you did here. You did. And here. Where is I should have dashed up more and just EQ'd yeah. on him. Yeah, or just be here and try to kill him. Devin, like, not be scared. You would have killed him there, right? Yeah. Exactly. Played super safe. <clears throat> <coughs> Okay, then you push and then you recall. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, though I felt like I overstayed a little bit too long, but it, <laughs> but he greeds to hit the tower plate, so it causes me to get a kill there, so... Let's see. I, I think that kind of uh, so uh, fixes here? my mistake, but... Here you think you greeted? Yeah, I, I think I should have just let that crash and then How is just the back. Right <clears throat> it's under his tower, so he's losing CS, but... True, and how is this wave right now, like, in the next 30 seconds? Yeah, it would have been bad if I didn't push it, because then it would have... He could have froze it right under his tower. Let's see, let's think about it. So, this minion wave right now, how is it? That one's gonna die by tower. True. And then... I think it... So... <clears throat> these minions are gonna die? Yeah. True. And what's gonna happen with this wave after these minions are gonna die? That wave would be a little bit less healthy, so I believe it would slow push into them because it's... They are... Uh... You're thinking that the minions are gonna be a bit more chunked. So this is going to be their minion wave and this is going to be our minion wave, right? Yes. It's going to be six minions against six minions, but the six minions that we have, you're saying that they're a bit chunked. Yes. Okay. On what, on which side is this minion wave? Uh, his side. True. So what about the next minion wave? The incoming one. It would have asked. It would also be more on his side because his uh, stopped moving yes. because mine. <clears throat> so them. when the wave comes right here, the six minions. I want to ask you if you think it would matter if these six minions are gonna come faster. Would it matter that this wave has like three, four minions that are a bit chunked? I don't. I don't think it would. Exactly. Because there is a difference right here, Nick. If we if we have six minions and they have six minions and they are a bit chunked, but when the next wave comes here, it's going to push into us. And there is a difference if we have six minions right here and then we have two minions and then the next wave of six wave comes. In that case, the fact that right here the difference between this wave is four minions is pretty big. The fact that the minion wave, incoming minion wave, meets closer to their tower doesn't make the wave to push into us. Because the differential of the between the minions is too big for this wave to matter. Because then then the next wave also has time to come here. So the rule of thumb is like this. <clears throat> the wave is gonna come into into in this case it's gonna come into you anyways because the next wave 
comes closer to this tower. Even though the minions are a bit chunked, the difference between the, num <coughs> between the number of the minions that we have and the, the, the number of the minions that they have with this wave, what was the, what's the difference? This wave with this wave. <laughs> um, the equal. Equal. So then if it's equal, 6 versus 6, and the next wave comes here, then it's gonna push into us. Okay, you're right. If it was 6 versus 2, 4 minions differential, I mean, that would be a big deal. Even when this wave came here, it didn't have too much power to push it into us. But at this point in time, when we have the equal minions, now this wave is coming into us. Yeah. So then, so do you think <clears throat> I should have just backfill, or that I did the right thing by with Alistair killing that wave? So, but... so now, how is the wave state right now? Since we discussed that, we discussed that. How is the wave? It's good. It's good. So, if it's good, technically you would think that you want to recall, but practically you want to ask yourself. Well, yeah, I want a Rico, but if I need a bit more gold for my item, for my desire item, for my ideal item, I can always consider like pushing one more wave really fast, especially because Jace is still dead right now, and I can screw, like I can, I can just push this wave. So, what do you need to look at right now to to know if you want to stay or not? How much gold I have and how much gold I need for the next exactly. item. Exactly. So you have twelve hundred and forty gold. So what do you want to buy now, ideally, in base? Probably Berserker Greaves. How much is that? It is 1,100, but Plus. I have a dagger, so it should be 800. 800 gold. Okay, so then what do you think right here, if you need 800 gold? Is it good that you push this way? Um... No, I don't think it's Not good. Not really, because... You already had enough gold to buy the item and you didn't need it. And yes, you're right. If you had right now 700 and you are in a need of 100 more gold and you have enough HP, you can always consider staying. Especially because again, Jace is dead. So you can consider staying. But since you had the item, no reason to overextend. You're right. This was an overextend. But this was overextend because you didn't need more money, not because it was fundamentally bad to stay. Okay. And then you recall. And then he pushed the cannon wave, which not the best thing in the world to do. And you killed him. Okay, you just punished him. Yeah, I've noticed that more and more in my game where they'll hard push for next wave. They'll be <laughs> under my tower. I just backed with a kill lead and yes. have more gold so yes, yes, I, yes, I know yes. that i win that so i just use the incoming wave to chase them down yes yes exactly exactly okay what now options let's go top or let's push uh, plates jace is dead and he's still dead so how do we decide here what do we need to do now well i should look to see what hp okay. they are at Perfect. and what hp Darius is at And Vale, it looks like I would have made it to the fight uh, late. Let's see. And uh, Jace only has... Well, he just respawned, so I should have probably backed because I won't yes. have made it there in time. Yes. So the, if you think, like, if they're, like, right here and you know for sure that you can do something, you can move, you know. But otherwise, I mean, you have free plates. Free plates are... Like, you can't be wrong by staying mid lane and taking free plates. I mean, of course, if you think you can get a free double, I would consider moving, no problem. But in this situation, I'll probably just stay. No reason And to even then, I think when I go up the, I go up the wrong because I go, uh, I go that way, which I have vision. I, I think see. if I would have actually wrapped around, maybe then I could have got something. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. I see. Mistake, mistake. And here, this is coming. You have 800 gold. I would recall. I would not stay. Because if you stay, you do. He recalled, he didn't. But if you recall and you come back in the lane phase... And I would have a bigger item lead. <clears throat> and right now, what can Jace do right now if, if he knows you recall right now? Um, he could... Huh? I... He could push, but right here, even if he decides to push, and let's say worst case scenario, lose a wave, it's just 
well, it's a wave, and you're gonna when you come back in the lane, you're gonna smash him anyways. So you could yeah. of course hit the recalling right here in the brush immediately when you saw that this doesn't work. Like you go top, and when you see that door, recall right here because he's not in the lane, so you still have time to recall very fast and come back in the lane. Okay. It's not completely wrong that you stayed right here because you have enough HP, and you know you you can win anyways. But it would have been okay to recall, especially because as you can see right now. The next wave is super close, so he needed to push two waves. He definitely couldn't push this. And it's cannon, so those and are harder cannon, to yes. push to begin with. Yes. You were scared to ulti in these kind of situations? Because of the jungle, maybe? Or whatever. Like right here, for example. Though I did not ulti because I didn't ulti because uh, I felt like it wasn't the HP where I could kill him, and okay. I think he would just uh, walk right under tower, and then I would have had to just awkwardly back off. I see. Okay, that sounds good. So I mean, it's fine. You also didn't know where is the jungle. I'm not concerned. I didn't go. If you had ignite, I would probably go there. Okay. And I don't remember if he flashed earlier, so I don't know if he had a flash up. Yeah, but it's always good to go in, burn the flash, and then back off. That's true, and he also has a low alt CD too, so... Yeah, but what's the cooldown? At the very CD? least, I would just chunk him out more. Yeah. And I have done that against mages. I've used alt to uh, chunk them out to try and force them to recall versus to nice. kill nice. them. And then you get a plate and then you recall. Awesome. Very awesome. Do you need to be a Drake? Not really. It's over. Nice. Perfect. It's good decision making, man. Well played, brother. That is good, Nick. Very good. Holy shit. Honestly, two mistakes in this game. Only two mistakes. Of course. Like if you consider the little mistakes, maybe there are more. But definitely, I think you played well. This one. I guess the Jace. Maybe you could have played a bit more aggressive at times. And we do, did have the, the roaming problem right there when you could have get the plates. Plus the recall, pro the recall problem and the wave management. And About here we go. Mistake, mistake yep. number two. <laughs> Let's see. So, you're chilling, you're chilling, you don't have vision, you don't have vision. You and don't if have I vision. was gonna, if I was gonna realm, I should have, uh, uh, wrapped around. Wrap wrapped around, yes, 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 right? yes. Let's see. Sorry to queue. So here you were thinking about that you're gonna be able to 1v2, or what was your... I, I think, yeah, I was thinking I could 1v2 with, because I had such a big lead over, uh, Jace, and I had Windwall to... So he would have been forced to go in, and I saw the Echo already used his stun. I see. Okay, well, you tested your limits. I'm not concerned with this. Let's see. Ah, okay, so we got hit by the ulti of him. I think we could have outplayed this. I don't think it's a good decision, because why risk it when you can win just playing sl by playing slow? Uh, yeah, and I could have easily escaped that yeah. gank too if I would have just kept walking down. Oh, for down. sure, for sure, for sure. So I definitely greeted that one. Yeah. I think and I knew after, I knew in this exact moment that he had his alt button that I had greeted yeah. that one. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. If you dodge his ulti, it's, it's, it's possible. Otherwise, it's a bit harder. And is there a reason why right here, so you go in the lane, Jace just respawn right now, and you just push this, let's see. No, I guess I don't really have a good reason to just Right, push because that one. if you push this cannon wave and Jace is right here, what is going to happen right now? It just gets to free farm under exactly. tower without like, taking if you any think, uh, poke if, or harass. Exactly. If you think that you, you need to move on to river or s do something on the map or recall, you can always push. I'm not saying to not push. But in this case, I mean, you are recalled. 
there is nothing on the river, plus he's close, so pushing a cannon wave here is like gonna give him a, uh, yeah, as you can see, free farm. Okay, so you go in with the wave, okay, <clears throat> and then here you got the, you, you try to get this, this pink. But when you see the Jace right here, what can happen if you're taking this pink? What can happen right now? Uh the Jace and the Echo can collapse upon Right, me. so be very careful with this kind of thing. So personally, he has no vision right now, so I would personally try to move from here and move like this. And put this ward here and put the ward maybe here. Uh, because if you face check here and Echo was here, he could have just gone over the wall. Okay. Like this. So, a bit greedy. And he will also try to punish. He pun try to punish you. There. Well. If you were taking the word, you can always put your word over the wall. Like this word, right here, it's more valuable because it's deeper than this word. This word just sees okay. this. This word sees this. So it's a bit deeper. You see echo right here. So you have more time to just back off. Because this okay. word, you see echo right here. So you don't have that much time to like back off. Okay, and then we played the... Uh, maybe we and didn't... That was the upper. I see, I see. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see. No vision and lower light. Yeah, the lower river. Yeah, so if you if you put the war vision here, we we definitely we definitely win this. So the rule of thumb is that if you see the world right here and you don't know where is the enemy jungle, you shouldn't really greed for it. You should just put vision on the other side where it's safe, and you can just play around it. You can just play on this angle. And play from there other than risk greeting for this ward and then putting the vision here but then you're gonna get collapsed from that angle because that angle was actually very safe when your wave was in the tower and jace was busy with with taking the wave yeah this game and it was a 30 minutes game 28 because mint wins top wins jungle wins sadie carry wins so 28 is not uh and then we just play with the team let's see Okay, Nick. Nice. It's a Pogors game. Sucks that we died two times. For sure. Wait, you had 13 kills this game, right? Yes. Wow, so from 3-2, so. from 3-2 you smurfed. Nice. Uh, from here on out, I ended up mostly playing with the Alistar because he had the uh, best knockups for me well, to yeah. uh, well, yeah, play sure. off from. Yes, yes, of course, of course. And even though the enemy team had CC, the uh, Alistar has about equal CC, in my opinion, to the uh, yes. Leona. Yes, 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 for sure. Okay, that's very good that you play with Ali. Very good. Then you just get a penta here. Almost. And then they did Herald. And you try to go mid lane. Is there any reason why you didn't really help them here? <clears throat> I only went mid to uh, clear that wave and I wanted to see if I could get some damage off on that uh, turret because I knew three of them were dead. And I knew that if it was three of them doing Herald, they probably get herald i see i see yeah i mean they have darius so it's not really a problem that's good okay then you recall here perfect you have the cloak in this game i did what i normally don't do and i because I knew I had Alistar and I kept pinging when my ult would be up. Oh. Okay. Oh. That was a wasted flash. Yeah. And also here, we do have some mechanical uh, errors here. Like here, you can always queue the minions. So you can get to Tornado. You don't need Alistar here. So you queue the minion and you can, queue, you can eat through the minion and then you can Tornado. Look here, flash, flash Q. Flash Q. Three man tornado. Because you can wait Alistar. But by the time that Alistar is here, maybe they are already gonna be here or here. 
and he can't get the flat point. My camera was at a bad angle. Ah, uh, I see. I think that was a uh, um <clears throat> bad camera angle. To be completely honest. I see. I see. I see. So all I think there, I was looking at my mini map, and all I saw was uh, four or five people on one person. So I was kind of um nervous about taking that one. I'm still, I'm much better at camera control than what I was, but I, I still have issues uh, panning, panning the camera over. Okay, okay. Right, this game I think you performed uh, pretty good. Oh shit, what happened here? I see, I see, I see, I see. A bit too aggressive here. No way you escape. Holy shit, Nick. What? You actually escaped here. No way. Yeah, that was my one in a million escape. Oh. Nine yeah, times out of ten, I should have died, Vale. Oh, and the, yeah, of course. Wow. This was overall a very good game that we had. So takeaways. Um, what do you think are the the most important takeaways here? I'm thinking the most important takeaways is definitely uh, there was a few points where I definitely flashed when I didn't need to. I definitely need to work on my camera control because earlier I missed that opportunity, like you said, to flash. And land possibly a free man knock up. True. Um, trying to remember what else. We talked about wave management and uh, understanding when we have to push extra waves. We need to understand oh, yeah. when the wave is coming into us based on where is the next incoming minion wave. And we should consider overextending only if we, first of all, if we have enough HP to do it. And we need the goal, because if you don't need the goal and the wave is in a correct position, you don't need to push it. Okay, so... <clears throat> camera control. Wave management. And rotations. And roaming. Uh, we could have taken an easy plate and guaranteed, but we decided to go follow a far fight from top lane. That that yeah, that play I mean. I passed wrong. Yes, and well, and then that. Yes. If it would have worked. If there was any chance for it to work, I should have pathed the other way. For those of you who are struggling winning and climbing in solo queue but are serious about getting better, I also do coaching for players that want to improve and get their gameplay to the next level. Coaching can't make you better if you just play normals and arms and don't like playing ranked, or you don't care about improving, you just play for fun, or let's say you just play the game for like 3 hours, maybe 4 hours per week, and that's about it. Coaching doesn't help. Coaching can help you if you feel hard stuck, if you struggle carrying games, if you want to stop wasting time autopiloting and not learning anything, if you run into a circle for a long time, if you want to find out the mistakes that hold you back, or simply maybe you have problems with the way you manage, maybe you feel lost throughout the mid game, maybe you struggle with the decision making, macro, and you just want to learn how to do it properly from a professional coach. Or let's say you have difficulties checking the enemy jungle and you die a lot to ganks. Or simply maybe you just want to learn how to carry one versus nine so you can actually climb and stop really wasting time. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and book your own coaching now and start improving instantly. I'll see you in the session.